approached me uh, with the idea to work on an album together. We, we had worked together in the past, and then he just called me up and told me, listen, I've got this collection of songs, and I think he would be a great producer for it. Uh, would you like to give them a listen and let me know what you think? And I did, and I liked them a lot. There were a lot of really, really cool songs in there. Uh, the songwriting was great, and like um, I know that he's going to assemble uh, a strong group of musicians to support him. Carlos and I have been in similar music circles. We've never actually worked together before. And um, so I've, I've always been aware of him. And this time around, uh, you know, he asked me to play on his record and I was very, very happy to, uh, that, that, that we could make it happen because it, it had been years that him and I had been kind of like, we know a lot of the same musicians, a lot of the same people. We've been on the same shows, but never actually worked together. So it, it, it's finally happening, you know. So here we are, day one. Day one at the Freak Shop studio. Uh, we're actually tuning the drums right now. I don't know if uh, I don't know if you can actually hear this. Uh, we're in the final final stages of, of setting up the drum kit, and uh, yeah, super super excited. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, there was a little snafu with a ribbon mic that fell from the stand and bounced off the floor, Tom. And <laughs> man, Murphy's Law. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Super excited. Day one. Let's do it. The other hi hats? The two hi hats together, I guess? Alright, oh man. Snare? I think it was an easy uh, yes for me to like you know sign on to this project and work with him and like try and produce a record like that he's, he's definitely dedicated to like um, you know doing something great with so you know that dedication is also inspiring and you know definitely bang something out that's pretty awesome. Uh, well, I've played with Carlos before. Uh, we did Emergenza and uh, ended up winning Emergenza and going to play in Germany. So when he asked me if I wanted to help him out with uh, this album, it was an obvious yes since uh, that was a great memory of mine and uh, we accomplished a lot together. To sit beside the fire at night, look into our eyes for sight. Want to be the one for you, hear my words, they don't break through. Loves me as he loves me now A dozen reds, that's all you've got The answer's there, it's on the line But you're just wasting time Red, yo Step away, change of mind, excuses that you hide behind. What is your creative process like? 
Uh, it's very eclectic. It really depends in the moment. Uh, I could write one song one way uh, and it'll be my favorite song and then I can completely change the process completely. And uh, so I don't have a specific process uh, just to make things short. Uh, uh, I could start with writing a poem and then write music to, to, to kind of go with that. And then other times I'll just constantly play uh, a chorus over and over and then build the lyrics around the music. So it's there's no real process for me uh, when it comes to that. I just do whatever feels right. you most like to collaborate with oh my god uh, for known musicians I would say I would love to <laughs> for known musicians I'd, I'd love to uh, maybe uh, collaborate with uh, Dallas Green uh, that's uh, it's probably my favorite uh, my favorite artist at this at this time and uh, I would just love to uh, stand on stage with him and uh, and sing one of his songs or do something new and uh, yeah, it's a dream of mine. Um, but then there's uh, tons of uh, friends of mine who have great musicians who I've never worked with, who I would love to work with. So uh, yeah, the list is really, really long. And uh, I'm uh, living a dream right now, getting to work with uh, with Mario. And uh, it's one of the best session drummers, uh, one of the best drummers, period, uh, in the, in our community. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a real uh, dream come true. Another idea for the next project uh, as far as what the um, new music is going to be so I'm going to be I already have an EP lined up uh, probably for late 2022 um, so yeah and then just growing uh, growing my record label and uh, starting a music festival uh, <laughs> there's so much going on there's a lot a lot coming up but it's all fun things and uh, it's uh, living your passion. It's not easy, and you gotta really push forward, push through it. And but it's fun, so it's uh, it's motivating, and uh, that's it. What is the best advice you've been given? To, uh, to know when a song is done and to uh, not try to change something that just might not go anywhere. So, uh, not every song is ever going to be a hit, so you write it, you get on with it, and you move on to the next one. So just keep, keep moving.
I've had so much great advice given to me. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say necessarily a piece of advice. It's watching how a lot of the uh, musicians I've worked with, how they, how they manage situations and how they deal with people. It's not necessarily uh, advice they've given me. It's just uh, watching how it is they work has been an, a, a, an immense lesson on, on how it is. I should kind of be around people it makes things go a lot smoother and I end up having a lot more fun and so do they yeah, I think. and over again. I've been blessed to get a lot of great advice from a lot of great people uh, in my life but I think the the best advice I was given just keep it short and sweet, was from uh, Guruji Shri Shri Ravi Shankar and uh, he told me not to worry. So, that's it. If only to see you next to me, sleeping. It's very easy to get lost in your own head and, uh, and live through your thoughts as opposed to looking up at the sun and, uh, or smelling the flowers, the cliche, you know? Uh, but I think it's super important. Uh, and the most important thing is just to really, if you don't love yourself first, you'll never be able to love anybody else and then you'll never be able to get love back in, in return. So I think uh, love yourself first, value experiences and not money, uh, value, value people and not things. Um, yeah. That's uh, the best advice that I've been given and that I want to give. And I find the strength that you gave. Those walls you build is all for me and I. The man I want to be, you love and you run. Please don't leave my heart broken and bleeding. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe. And bleeding, and now you're running. Why you running?